Good morning, L.B. Clark Middle School students and staff. It's Logan. Mr. Wester and Mr. Arada. Reading your daily announcements today. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Kids at Hope Pledge. I am a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for my future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. Happy birthday today to Madison Wester. Mrs. Inkster will be around to give you a birthday treat. Happy birthday, Maddie. Happy birthday, you big weirdo. <laughs> this is Alfalfa from... Uh, little, rascals. little Rascals. That's the old Little Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll um, that one, yeah. yeah. Like to Today's think. weather is going to be 66 degrees and very sunny. What's and, on the lunch menu and today? And sticky. And yeah, sticky. sticky. Today's lunch menu is chicken fajita strips, tortilla flour shell, corn, and mixed fruit. All right, so there's been a lot of talk about masks out in the, the public and the media lately due to the CDC changing guidelines. Uh, the guidelines that have changed actually have been for people who are vaccinated, and that does not include the age ranges right now of the students in the school. So the, while they have changed guidelines uh, uh, for the people who are vaccinated, they have not loosened guidelines for schools. Uh, the CDC contend, continues to recommend that all students wear and staff wear masks while in school and in buildings and on buses. Uh, to be effective, your masks must be worn over your nose and mouth. And we talk about this consistently every day at school. Uh, if you see me or someone else just tapping on their nose, that means get your mask up because that is how we have stayed in school and, and been able to conduct in-person school all year. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really important that we finish these last three weeks strong. Uh, this has been a message from Nurse Jamie with some of my own stuff stuck into it, but uh, you know, this is a non-negotiable thing still. We're through the end of the school year, we will continue to wear masks. So please make sure that you keep them over your nose and mouth. Calling all eighth graders. Did you know that the high school has an esports team? Well, they do. The high school esports team just won the school's first state championship in the video game Rocket League. The esports esports team is just like a sport. They meet after school to practice on strategy on and on certain games, compete against other schools during a season, and even wait win state championship like any other sport. If you're interested in joining eSports program next year at the high school, please be ready to attend an informational meeting on Wednesday, May 26 at 9 a.m. Tomorrow. All right, on this day, kind of a lot of stuff on this day, so bear with me here. On this day in 2020, one year ago, George Floyd's death while in police custody generates protests and calls, calls for reform in the justice system. Uh, on this day in 1935, the legendary American athlete Jesse Owens uh, equals or breaks four world records in 45 minutes at the Big Ten meet at, at Ferry Field in Ann Arbor, Michigan. He's remembered as the greatest, it, it, it is remembered as the greatest 45 minutes ever in, in a sport. Uh, on this day in 19, or 1787, the Con Constitutional Convention opened in Philadelphia where 55 state delegates initially charged with amending the Articles of Confederation later drafted the Constitution of the United States of America. On this day in 2011, the last episode of the Oprah Winfrey Show aired. It was the longest running TV program um, and it helped her make one, of, it helped uh, make Oprah one of the richest and most influential women in the United States. The, it was a long running program. I think the longest running program is Meet the Press. Oh. It's a long one. It's very long. Uh, and on this day, for you Star Wars fans, uh, 1977, George Lucas's space opera film Star Wars, later known as the Star Wars Episode IV, uh, New Hope was released, launching one of the most successful and influential franchises in motion picture, picture history. Tuesday teacher shoutouts of the day. Uh, 
First, uh, shout out to all of our spring sports coaches. Ms. Wazek, who is our tennis coach, Coach Shambo for golf, uh, Mr. Kozlowski, Mr. Burdine, uh, Coach Turp, and Coach Van Wyken for track. Thank you for everything that you did for our kids in the uh, spring sports season. It was a very successful spring sports season, uh, especially considering our situation this year. So thank you very much for everything you do. And our second uh, shout out for today is goes to Mrs. Blatska. She runs the breakfast cart for everyone every morning and makes sure everyone is, is, uh, has been fed both at school and over the weekend this past year, going back to last March when all of this started. Um, they went right through summer, making sure everybody still had meals in summer. And so, uh, you know, that, that's been a big job and a really big responsibility. And, and uh, we wanna make sure that everybody recognizes Mrs. Watska's part in, in making sure that happened. Um, she is also in charge of the food service program at all of the schools in Two Rivers, not just at Clark and does an amazing job. So when you see Mrs. Watska today, say thank you to her for everything that her and her team have done over the past year. A sports update. The spring sports seasons have wrapped up. All track athletes who have not turned in their jerseys, please do, please do so to Mr. Burdine at school. That was a short one, huh? Yeah, <laughs> there's not much for sports anymore. <laughs> Teachers on safety duty are the eighth grade advisors. Student shout outs today. I'm gonna to take the first one. Mr. West is gonna take the second one. Uh, first one is coming from Mrs. Becker. This shout out goes to Tyler Buddha. Tyler found two extra mental health ribbons and instead of keeping them for himself and collecting the prizes, he gave them to two of his buddies instead. Tyler's a great friend and we are so proud of you, Tyler. What a good guy. Nice job, TB. All right, our second shout out today goes to Cole Avery, Malaysia Lee, Taylor Vogel, and all of the rest of the kids in Mr. Smith's IS class yesterday afternoon. I was in there and they did a great job explaining to me what their project was uh, that they were working on. And they all actually shared what their uh, what their business plan was with me as well. So I appreciated that. And so thank you to Mr. Smith's afternoon IS class. At LB Clark Middle School, we have three core beliefs. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and take care of this place. Today's right away is taking care of yourself in the classroom. Use voice levels one or zero. Be respectful to your classmates and teachers and adults. Follow directions and be kind to one another. Uh, before we get out of here today, I'm just going to follow up on that. I understand it's getting warm outside. There's a full moon tomorrow. Whatever you know, excuses we want to throw out there. We still have uh, two and a half weeks of school here, and we need to. We have a lot of learning to do. So it's important that we all make sure that we're doing our job and taking care of ourselves and each other in this place, like we talk about every day. Uh, and in order to do that, you need to make sure that you're being respectful and following expectations and doing what you're asked and, and making your teacher's job easier, not harder. So let's please make sure that we're on our best for the next two and a half weeks so we can have a great end to the school year. Today is a great day to take pride in being a two-year-old LBC is the place to be.